ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮತ್ತು ಶುಭ ಸಂಜೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಭಾಷಣಕಾರರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಾಮ್ದಾರ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ ರಾಗ್ಲೆ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮದು ನೂರು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಹೊಂದಿದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಏಕೈಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಜೇಷನ್ ಸರ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ನಾವು ಬಹುಶಃ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಜನವರಿ ಅಥವಾ ಫೆಬ್ರವರಿ ಸೆಂಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಂಟಿನಲ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಹೆಸರು ಹೇಳೋಂಗೆ ನಮ್ಮದು ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಕೆ ಎ ಎಸ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಸೀರೀಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ನಾಲ್ಕನೇದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಸರ್ ಮೊದಲನೇದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಚೀಫ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಅದಾದಮೇಲೆ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಕ್ವಿಷನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಳಸ ಸಾಹೇಬರು ಮಾತಾಡಿದರು ಸರ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಎನ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ದಿ ಜುಡಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫೋರ್ತಲ್ಲಿ ತಾವು ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ತಾವಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮದು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಹಿರಿಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಇನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಲೆಂತು ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಮತ್ತು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಮೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮದು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ಅದಲ್ಲದೇ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಫೆಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ನಮಗೆ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ಸಿಂದ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ನಮಗೆ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸರ್ ಒಂದು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಂದ ಹೌ ಡು ಹೌ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ವಿ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಸರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆದರೂ ಜನರಲ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕೂಡ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಾಗೆ ಇದೆ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸರ್ ಸುಮಾರು ಜನ ರಿಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸು ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆಡಳಿತ ಸೇವೆ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳ ಸಂಘದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಜಾಮ್ದಾರ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರನ್ನ ನಾನು ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾರ್ದಿಕವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರ್ತೇನೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಮೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಆಫ್ಲೈನ್ ಎರಡೂ ಮೋಡಿಗೆ ಸೇರಿದಂತಹ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಮಿತ್ರರನ್ನು ಹಿರಿಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳನ್ನು ಇನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ರಿಟೈರ್ಡ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ನ ನಾನು ಹಾರ್ದಿಕವಾಗಿ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರ್ತೇನೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಮೀಡಿಯಾದವರು ಕೂಡ ನಮಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೇ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಹಾರ್ದಿಕ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೋರ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಹಾಂ ಜಾಮ್ದಾರ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೇಳೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ತಾವು ಬರ್ತೀರಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಇದಾಗ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಯಿತು ಸರ್ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ನವರು ತಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ನಾವು ಟುಟಿಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆದು ಬಂದವರು ಸರ್ ತಾವು ನಮಗೆ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರಿ ತಾವು ನಮಗೆ ಗೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಆ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ಕಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿದೆ ಸರ್ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೊಬ್ಬರು ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಒಬ್ಬ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಐಕಾನ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಬ್ಬ 
ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಆಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಈಗಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಗಮನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನೀವು ಬಾಗಲಕೋಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಯು ಕೆ ಪಿ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಹಾಬಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸುಮಾರು ಮನೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರ ಫೋಟೋಗಳನ್ನ ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಈಗಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಅವ್ರು ದೇವರಂಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರು ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪರೆಂಟಾಗಿ ಎಫಿಷಿಯೆಂಟಾಗಿ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ಅವರು ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ತಾವು ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಯಾವೊಬ್ಬ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗೆ ಒಂದೇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಎಂಟು ಆರು ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಮೂರು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರಗಳು ಐದು ಜನ ಮುಖ್ಯಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳು ಬಂದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಒತ್ತಡ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಔಟ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ನು ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಮೀ ಹಿ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಡ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೇಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದನ್ನು ತಾವು ನೋಡ್ತೀರಿ ಕೂಡ ಇವತ್ತು ಸುಮಾರು ನಾವು ಕೂಡ ಬಯಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಜೀವನದಾಗ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾರನ್ನೂ ಸ್ಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ಕೆಲಸ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಎತ್ತಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಸುಮಾರು ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಇತ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಕೊನೆಗೆ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಕೂಡ ಹೇಳ್ತು ಇವರೇನಾದ್ರೂ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನೋ ಫಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ಎಫಿಷಿಯೆಂಟಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಸುಮಾರು ಹಾಬಿಗಳಿದ್ದಾವೆ ಅವ್ರ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋದರೆ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಸಿಫರಸ್ ರೀಡರ್ ವಸಿಫರಸ್ ರೈಟರ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಟಾಪಿಕಿಗೆ ತಾವು ಸಹ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ಒಪ್ಕೊಂಡು ತುಂಬು ಹೆದ್ರ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಲೇ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ದಂಗೆ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಬದಲಾಗುತ್ತಿರುವ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳ ಪಾತ್ರ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಈ ವಿಷಯದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಾನು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾತಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲೂ ತಹಶೀಲ್ದಾರ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಎ ಡಿ ಸಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಕೆಲವರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಚಾಲೆಂಜ್ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಅದು ಸೊ ಆ ಚಾಲೆಂಜನ್ನ ಇತ್ತೀಚಿನ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಚಾಲೆಂಜನ್ನು ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಮೊದಲು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ನಾವು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಮಾಮ್ಲೇದಾರು ತಹಶೀಲ್ದಾರ್ ಮಾಮ್ಲೇದಾರ್ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ರು ಮತ್ತು ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ಗೆ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ ಅಂತ ಅವಾಗಿನ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಮಾಮ್ಲೇದಾರನ ಭೇಟಿ ಆಗಬೇಕು ತಹಶೀಲ್ದಾರ ಭೇಟಿ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಇವನ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಗಳು ಆಫೀಸಿಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿರಸ್ತಾರ ಆಫೀಸ್ಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರಿದಾರಪ್ಪ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಮೂಡ್ಲಿದಾರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಂತೆ ಅಂತೆ ನಾವು ಕೇಳಿರೋ ಕತೆಗಳು ನಾವು ನೀವು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ತಹಶೀಲ್ದಾರ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಆಗಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಗಂತೂ ಆ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತೂ ಕೂಡ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದೆ ಈಗ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಜುಡಿಷಿಯರಿ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಐ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಸ್ಟ್ಗಳು ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಐ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ಮತ್ತು ಗ್ಲೋಬಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ಲಿಬಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಜುಡಿಷಿಯರಿ ಕೂಡ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕೂಡ ಈಗ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಡಿಮಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆಸ್ ಎವರ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಎವರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಸ್ರಪ್ಟಿವ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಟು ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸುಮಾರು ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಈ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ನ ಕ
was uh, having about 40 candidates and about 15 multiplied by three, about 45 uh, assistant commissioner grade junior skilled case officers. And uh, we uh, revised the whole syllabus for the training program, as some of you know. We added quite a few things there. One is, uh, I don't know whether they continued with that or no, now I don't know. We had added the training in the Judicial Academy. Are you going there now? Illa. We also, you, you, okay, it's now stopped. Huh? Okay, because Judicial Academy was supposed to, the judges were supposed to train uh, Tasildars and SEs in the conduct of um, your powers under the CRPC, whether it is exhumation, identification parades, chapter cases, uh, and the peacekeeping forces, good behavior cases, they're all uh, judicial powers actually and we wanted judges only to train them. So that was one addition. Second thing, we also added forensic science uh, laboratory. Do they have that even now, forensic science? No, okay. So then the whole syllabus was revised uh, for both KS and IAS of the cooperation of DPR. I was also in DPR a long time back as joint secretary, and that, that time in the secretary, DPR was not there. Anyway. So my first purpose of readily agreeing to meet is to meet all of you. And I can see quite a few faces here, quite familiar ones. Uh, they have done exceedingly well in service. And I'm really proud that uh, I could meet you again here, OK? Um, second thing is, um, situation is really, really in a flux in the country, to say the least. We must remember that bureaucracy is not outside the society. It is not outside the political system, what we simply call polity. It is not outside the economic system, what we call economy. So these are the three things in the whole world, polity, economy, and society. All of us come from the same society, same kind of political system, not parties, OK? And same kind of economic system in this country. And those with whom we have to work are also of the same background. So as a result, to say that the bureaucracy will not be affected by the developments in all the three is totally impractical and idealistic. It does affect all of us, including not necessarily KS, IAS, and every other civil service also. So therefore, uh, we have to take into account the changes that are taking place in the country in all the three spheres. That's the first thing. Um, while doing so, when you say present scenario, I would say instead of scenario, I would use the word environment. A scenario is a short time. I don't think it's going to be a very short time. Nor am I saying that the same party system will continue for eternity, no. Scenario is just about for a few months or a few years. But the change that takes place in the economic system, political system, and the social systems are long lasting. Longer lasting, I'm not saying longest, but longer. So these are going to stay in the country. So therefore, you're rightly cho chosen the topic, how do we behave or conduct ourselves in public life? And bureaucracy, whether starting from peon to the highest officer, it is with public. You begin your career with public, end it with public service, or face to face with public. So what that means? You are always under watch. You are always under watch by somebody or the other, by people affected by your decisions and actions and conduct, by people who are not affected, people who are simply observing what you do, how you behave. So that's very important. So our conduct, our decisions, I'm saying, I, I, I mean, every officer, KS or IAS, anybody, is under great scrutiny. Uh, when Dr. Lapur is saying, when he joined the service, I joined about 30 years before him. So you can say, um, I was not in the country, okay? I was an assistant professor in an American university where I did my master's and PhD. And I wrote examination not from India, from London, 1979. And uh, when I, in the, that's the only attempt I had, uh, only chance I had. So luckily or unluckily, I got through. 
from London Center. Out of 500 students who appeared from there, I was a lone uh, fellow joining IAS, and one lady got into Indian Foreign Service Class 2 service, subordinate service, not IFS, uh, main service. So two candidates of 500 in London, Holborn, India, uh, India House office. But then um, it was easy, more difficult for me. It's not difficult for me to write an exam, because by that time, I had too many degrees. That itself is a problem with me. <laughs> by that time, I had done my master's degree, my um, MA degree, MS degree, and MSA also, and that one full PhD and half PhD. So IAS and KS, they don't require this degree. It's enough if you are just DA, BA. If that way or so, had I appealed for it from Tata Institute where I was studying, I would have uh, 40 years of service. <laughs> okay. Because I joined late and I had to, uh, short service. The problem for me was whether to come back after passing. And the uh, government of India went on reminding me. First call, I was still having dilemma. Second call, little settled but not final. Third, they wrote a letter, if you don't join by 28th September, your appointment order shall be resigned. So then I thought, let me go. If I don't adjust, I'll resign and come back. If I adjust, I'll continue. So I came back here with a ticket, a return ticket. Okay. And I did resign, mind you, in 1983. And I left the country for six months. But my resignation was not accepted for the same reason I was told by R.A. Naik, our former chief secretary. The reasons you are given are the same reasons you take it back and come back. And I came back. And after that, I never bothered to go back. Now, I am saying, Situation that time was totally different. As you use the word during my time, eh? I'm telling about my initial time. Those days you did not have information commission. Those days you did not have women's commission. Those days you did not have children's commission. Those days you did not have right information act. What did you have? You had nothing. Okay, you had only no local act also, okay? There was something like Vigilance Commission, except that thing, there was nothing. And no CAT, no KAT. And it's a free-for-all kind of stuff that way. Bureaucrats has a much more liberty without constraint, restraint, and super surveillance by all these various bodies. So you had much more freedom. And I would say today corruption is a non-issue, totally non-issue. Nobody talks about it. Uh, neither the public, nor the courts, nor the bureaucracy, nor the politicians. Does it mean that everywhere is so rampant? I don't know. But that is a non-issue today. Let us not talk about it. Those days was the major issue. Okay. And uh, when I returned, I was standing in a long queue at the time of getting into the plane, that is Air France. Uh, and in a long queue, there were... Uh, foreigners behind me and before me. And since the queue was longer, uh, I just looked back and he was an American fellow. He asked me, you look like Indian. Yes, I do. He said, uh, what are you doing? I said, I was teaching here. Then where are you going to India? I'm going to join Indian Administrative Service. You know what he said? I don't know what was his frustration. Uh, he looked to be very not a very balanced fellow, not very polite fellow. He said, you people suck the blood of your people. Why are you joining this? These I'm telling you, in the name of God, these are his words. It really shocked me. I said, uh, gentlemen, I don't know how you formed this opinion. Even if it is so, this shall not happen with me. If such a thing were to happen, I'll leave that country and come back. This is the first promise I made. And I came, and why I resigned, I tell you. I'm ta talking about a situation now. So training was over. Two years later, well, about uh, less than two years later, I was appointed as assistant commissioner Tarikere. I didn't know where it was. And after army training in Jammu, I boarded a plane express up to Bombay. From there, I changed over to Mirage, Mirage to get here, then went to Birur, got down at a railway station, and it was a very bad station early in the morning, cold morning, and uh, I got one more training to Shimoga, and that uh, on the way it comes to Rikir. I got down there, it was around, by the time I reset, around 5 o'clock, nobody around there.
So I had um, huge American suitcases, three big suitcases. I had to carry them myself, give them no porter, nothing else, hardly wow, one or two uh, passengers. Then I said, where is IB? I went to the IB. And IB, no room was there. So I kept my suitcase and uh, sat on that. I was sleeping. And only two rooms were there. One room was occupied in MLA. And that MLA, he got up, it seems. I was asleep on my suitcase only, sitting there. So he saw me. He said, Yar, Yuru, Malkundi Tarelli. So Malikar Junapayantar. So we have seen this. Now I asked, what is this? Ilak Kuti Diri, Yar, Nio. Illa Yig Bandindri Asun. Ha, Asun Kamishra. Then he was so nice. He and the same bed he made me sleep. He went for a walk, came back, told the matey uh, to get breakfast for me. And breakfast was ready. He, then he woke me up at 8.30. And after that, I got fresh up. And then uh, the assistant comes to there. He is no more. And Sayez Amir Pasha from KS only. He was a predecessor. He had not received my letters. So no argument. And uh, I asked him, where is the assistant commissioner's office? See, you can imagine a man coming straight away after several years of uh, being away from India, coming back, and the office, there were so many donkeys in front of that office. It was within the, I don't know, even today, that is in the same compound as the uh, PWD guest house. So donkeys were sleeping. Oh, that is it, sir. It was a small office. Huh? So donkeys, uh, anyway. So then uh, he said, sir, what time you take care? Whenever you hand over. Then he said, this is Rahu Kala. I said, not for me. Okay, not for me, hand over. Hey, sir, bad ass, sir. Local Tarsil, sir. Tagal bedi, sir. Okay, no, no, nothing else. I'll take. I took. Rahu Kala worked against him and for me. He was suspended. One Maray was suspended. And Zamir, uh, he handed over and left. He said, I want a bungalow for another week. I said, fine. So it just continued like that. Elections, that was election year. And I was for no eyes, uh, so I became return governor. Situation I'm telling you. Uh, elections came. Uh, it was a very tough battle. Then came a scrutiny time. Now, this example I'm giving you, how situation has changed drastically. See, that time, Ashton Commission used to be return governor for two, three constituencies. And I was for three constituencies, Birur, Kadur, and Tarikere. Today, Birur has wound up, I think. Uh, Tarikere, Kadur are separate. Um, then uh, everything went all went uh, went okay, but then at a time scrutiny of the candidate uh, Kadu, an objection was raised by BJP. That time it was Jansang, I guess. So it says the uh, candidate of Congress is a uh, office bearer in Canada Bank as a director should be cancelled. Then I asked him, you, you prove. You prove meant them who alleges he has to prove. So he gave certain documents there of his uh, dry left TAD and all that. Then I uh, saw some, uh, there is an act called Mysore Disqualification Prevention Act. There is no copy of that act. Then I asked this, he had no copy in that office. Then whom to talk? Jamdar, I called law secretary, Chamayanti, he called. So inquiry continued. He said, uh, I'll get a copy, but uh, uh, you go ahead of scrutiny less to others. So I finished it. What happened by 3 p.m., you are supposed to submit a list of nominated candidates. What happened was, inquiry still continued. I did not get advice from the law secretary at DC. Then law secretary at 30 told me, look, I'm unable to get that word copy of You better adjourn it, hold tomorrow. I was told accordingly, I adjourned the case. Then started the hell breaking, breaking loose on my head. Everybody from Congress would call me. Hey, Tagodri, Tagan Bidi Adana. Here I got the election petition. I said, No, I have independent power and as RO, I will not listen to you. They went everywhere, including uh, my wife's uncle, who was MP that time, Belga. He was a lot of I said, I didn't bother. Can you imagine? At 10 o'clock, None other than Gundura calls me up. Gundura, I'm at the Yes, sir. Yaki and Kutia, you know? See, push us to be. Yella Raja, you're going to open the Lier specially there. Our election president, holy Tagadanant. Sorry, sir. I'm seeking advice from the law secretary. Until it comes, sir, I will not make a decision. And I'll make tomorrow morning. Hey, now in Kaiba Kelly, or Nim Gotila, Nan Gotila. But I'll not accept it. Okay. 
Then what happened? Next day, about 11 o'clock, I got a copy. This was one of the examples where disqualification was prevented by the law, my situation. Then I held against it, Gangadhar, who made the uh, allegation. I said, here is the law, look at it. Then he withdrew his objection. I accepted the nomination. But then by that time, they found an opinion that that time, Janata Party has come, was canvassing under Ramakrishna Hegde. They said he must be Janata, the Janata man, so he's anti-Congress. Okay. So that was it. So it continued. A few days later, one of the SSP, DYSP, he was my distant relative. He was posted there. Came to my bungalow and he told me, you better be careful. Your home phone is attached. Your office's phone attached. There is no mobile then, no? So you don't talk anything on the phone, I was told. It continued like that. I said, I don't bother because I don't have any political affiliation. I don't have any relation. So I continued. Election came over peacefully. Then counting time came. Karthikeyan, that time uh, the SSB chief, working with, you know about SSB. How many of you know SSB, the arrangement? States uh, special service, special branch. Do you know how it works? As former law, principal secretary law, I'm telling you, sorry, principal secretary home. SSB reports only directly to the CM, not to any policeman. One copy of that is given to home secretary. And uh, I transfer, as home uh, principal secretary, I should transmit only two copies. And by every day, situation report, DSR, daily situation report is given by 10, before 10 p.m. I generally used to get about uh, 8 p.m. And uh, CM used to get earlier. Every day, every two hours, uh, the SSV chief goes and briefs the CM. What is happening, where, and who is talking what. In fact, including this incident may also be reported, OK? The Jamdar is talking today. That report will be reported, OK? So that is how the SSP works. So this SSP chief, DR Karthikeyan, mind you, who is Karthikeyan? He was a chief of SIT, special investigation team, in Rajiv Gandhi murder case. He was that time in CBI director there. So subsequently, so he sent a letter from the information available at a state uh, level. There is every likelihood of sabotage at the counting hall. So you better give permit, entry permit to 10 policemen shown below. He sent a note. Then immediately I called a DC, said this note I have received. What shall I do? Hey, you are not listening to me earlier. Also, I told you accept a nomination. You didn't accept, so they suspect you are against them. So you decide yourself. Ganga Drapa, he is retired now. So I said, OK. Immediately, I thought, these fellows think that I am anti-government, anti-party. Therefore, let me establish my independence. I immediately uh, called uh, my PA and dictated, I am the attorney officer. I know what is happening in my constituency. There is no possibility of any sabotage. Even if it takes place, I shall not give entry permit to any policeman. Sent it. Okay. Election took, uh, the counting took place, and there granted only one. Everybody was apprehensive, I'll be punished, I'll be transferred. Then what happened? Chief Minister had lost election. Congress lost their power, lost power. First time, Janata Party came to power with three uh, number majority. Rajat in Ramakrishna Hegde. So in the evening, after everything was over, SL Gangadrapa, Raven Siddha, DIG, they descended um, uh, to Tarikere. We had a party. They started cutting jokes. Uh, it is not the Janata Party which won. Jamdar has won it. Because had it not come to power, he would have been transferred, he would have been punished. Okay, that's the situation. So I'm, to, I'm, I'm, I'm sure today it must be even worse. Okay, that's one situation. Then uh, during the election, one of the candidates died before ca before the voting. Uh, one person, Japanta, Congress fellow. I countermand election. Then three months later, election was held. In that election, what happened was, Janata Party was in power. Congress was in the opposition for the first time in its history in Karnataka. So then what happened? They wanted to ensure that uh, Congress wins and uh, Janata Dhan fails in the by-election, first by-election. So they gathered every important leader, including Virendra Patil, who had contested against Indira Gandhi before. 
from Chikmagalur constituency. In the previous, this four, four years back. <coughs> sorry, in BD Jati, for her election president of India, they came and canvassed to, to ensure that Congress wins. During that time, what happened was, Mr. BD Jati, who was a uh, acting president, during that time I was doing my PhD in uh, Center for Sociological Research in Delhi School of Economics in Delhi. I was staying with my wife's uncle in uh, 179 North Avenue, MP Flats. So during that time, I uh, was taken to presidential palace for uh, twice or thrice for lunch, and he had known me personally and used to call me by name Shivananda. So when he was going back, and he inquired, who is the returning officer? Somebody told him from party, I was the returning officer. That gentleman, instead of going back to uh, Bangalore, drove straight to take him to his bungalow. In the evening, around 8 o'clock, while coming from Badravati, straightway came to my bungalow. And he was so nice, like a father figure. And uh, uh, he sat uh, for half an hour, had a cup of coffee and tea, and left. We discussed nothing. Next day, all the newspapers flattered that uh, the acting president of India meets the assistant commissioner who is the returning officer. So what does it mean by implication that this was a congressman? OK, earlier, Congress government thought I was a Janta man. This time, Janta people thought I was a congressman. Same story repeated. Okay, Elections all over. Again, Congress people won there. Okay. So they added, added insult. That is Dr. Raju, who became health minister at that time. So everything was over. It was uh, June. Then I decided I quit the country. <laughs> okay. I wrote back my professor, and they got me a job as yeah, assistant professor there. Uh, I took my family, hoisted the flag on uh, 15th August. I took my family to my village and left. That is when I sent my resignation, within uh, one, one year of my easy trip. And six months I stayed there. I was prepared, trying to tell my wife, my father, and the only son, and they were refusing to go. So it was a difficult situation. Either you have to sacrifice your family or uh, sacrifice your career or sacrifice your ambition going abroad and settling there. So under such compulsion, government also refused to accept my resignation because I had given all these reasons. What is this politics, dirty politics? Being honest, being directly or not involved in any politics, this is kind of influence because of circumstances. I feel it's uh, not a worth place to live in. And then I was called back. I went as DC Balari. So that's a story. Now situation today, you think about how it could have happened to you. So first, second situation is circumstances. First situation is nonsense. I'm, to, I'm, I'm sure today many of you have already worked as assistant returning officers, returning officers. Situation must have been worse. So that's how things have changed. But those days, no session was there. Election commission itself was very funny. There were no rules, regulations. People would go and bribe everybody, everything, everywhere. Nobody would look at it, and it's not an offense at all. Okay, the, the subsequent act was amended. Okay, so such was a freedom, but session came, changed everything. One man. Huh? This is what I'm trying to tell you. One man means quite a lot. One man, if he has power, if he is uh, occupying a constitutional position. He can change a lot. So whatever might be the situation, you don't need to worry about the situation. So therefore, I'm telling you, don't worry how bad is the situation. You can still work in it effectively. I am not a disgruntled man. With all this experience, I'm telling you, I had a very, very satisfactory, uh, long tenure uh, to my satisfaction. I'm not disgruntled. I'm not against any government. I'm not against any party. But I'm telling you, I'm not a frustrated man. All the time criticizing everybody, nothing. Situations come, you analyze the situation, take an appropriate decision as an upright bureaucrat, nothing more. Now I'll go into the direct things, huh? your topic. What your topic says? In the current scenario, what is the current scenario? How do you look at it? How do you look at it? It depends who you are. It depends what is your opinion. Are you against the current changes? You will always criticize it. Are you in favor of it? I'm sure among officers like among the public, there are many people who like the changes taking place in the country. 
There are supporters. Their post changes are taking place. All of them may not be supporters. Some of them are. If they look at it, a wonderful changes. This would have happened 50 years back. This would have happened uh, at a time of independence. It is happening now. Good thing. So that's one way. If you are opposing it, you will say, what nonsense. Everything is changing. Everything is this. Everything is that. So if you are a critic, you are opponent, it's another way. Now you are a just a common man. Your way will be neither for nor against. What is your way? What you see, what you feel, what you think is going to happen or is happening or would happen if you are a common man. If you are neither a politician nor a supporter nor an opponent but a critic, political critic, a political critic, you have been reading many articles here and there. Last uh, few years, uh, most of the uh, editorials, many of the articles which appear in the leading newspapers of the country are highly critical. What are they criticizing? Now, in my life, I don't take any one of those four views because I'm not opponent of any system. I'm not proponent of any system. I'm not a critic to criticize everything. But I would say things are in a flux. Things are in a flux. Flux means kelage mele kalu aakthitta de yavudu settle down aagi yenu yari gottirudilla. Anta parisithile naavu iddive. Idu sari no tappo I will not pass value judgments. You decide yourself. What is changing? Just half a dozen examples I'll give you for you. Look at history. Indian history as we know, as we have studied, as our forefathers have studied, is no longer, is no longer felt to be valid. Everybody is saying Indian history is distorted by previous people. I am going to correct it. We are going to correct it. How are we correcting? Now, half a dozen themes are very clearly visible everywhere. You don't need to make a um, you know, any secret about it. India was ruled by 600 years by outsiders. Is it a fact or not? And who writes history? The rulers. Have they written a history or not? Have they written? No. We have written. But we have written from whose point of view? In 600 years, which countries ruled us? Muslims came, 12th century. They ruled it unto? Unto? That is up to 1857. Okay, so more than 600 years. And then British came, Dutch came, French came, Portuguese came. I don't know how many were familiar. There are quite a few things we still have in this country, even after they have left. They ruled us, uh, Portuguese ruled us. Uh, from 1415, sorry, 1515, 1515, Alfonso de Albuquerque, Goa, first governor, up to 1960, how many years? 600 years. Then the British came, they ruled us exactly 190 years, but if we take other things, they ruled us of nearly 200 years. French left early, but there are five colonies are still there. You have Chandranagar in near Calcutta, you have Mai, you have Enam, you have Karakal, all these Pondicherry. These five are where uh, French colonies again for 400 years. Portuguese was there long, then uh, Dutch, uh, the English, Dutch left earlier. So these three foreign European rulers ruled us that long. What they left behind is our history. What they left behind? Today you go to Delhi, whatever history we have, whatever ports we have, except old port. The Purana Kila, except Ashoka Pillar. We have only Muslims. Are you going to demolish your red port? Are you going to demolish red port? Are you going to demolish uh, Kutub Binar? Are you going to de demolish uh, Taj Mahal? Then what are you talking about? How did the Mughal ruler, who is it, first ruler, Baba, win India? Against whom? One Muslim against another Muslim. Four dynasties, Delhi Sultanate. One against other, all Muslims only. And Mughals came outside Delhi Sultanate. They won against whom? Ibrahim Lodi. 1526. How did he rule? 
five lakh soldiers of Ibrahim Lodi were defeated by 40,000 soldiers of Babar. Just 40,000 soldiers defeated five, more than five lakh soldiers. How? <laughs> by simply bribing. The fort keepers, the people who came ammunition houses. Now worse than that, I tell you, Vijayanagara in Karnataka, how was Vijayanagara battle won? Ram Raya's forces were six lakhs. And you can go into elephantry, uh, sorry, uh, the elephants, the horses, cavalry, and army. There was no navy was in the roadside, was in the naval side, seashore. This six lakh strong army was defeated by one lakh forty thousand combined forces of five sultanates. Five. How did they do? Bribing. Who was bribed? Important people. Anyway, they defeated. Now, they rewrote their history. No, that history is wrong. Right. But what, what history you want to write then? That's history. 600 years is not present or future. It's past. It's your past. It's your country's past. Are you going to wipe it out? Or are you going back period before? Think about it. Rewriting history. What was Indian legal system? What was Indian political system prior to 12th century? You think about it. In the more than 2,000 year, not more than 2,000, 2,500 year old known written history, who were the Indian emperors only? So-called three or four. Ashoka the Great, he ruled about 80% India, not full India. Then Gupta ruled only 25% India, but we say it's a golden age. Why do you say golden age? After Guptas came who? Mughals. Ashok, the Akbar the Great. They ruled for 250 years only, Mughals. In these three dynasties, emperors, did they ever rule entire India? No. Guptas only 25% India. Mughals only 75% India. Ashoka ruled about 80% India. Ashoka is not foreigner, but Ashoka is not Hindu. Ashoka is not Hindu, he's a Buddhist. Look at our national emblems and symbols. What is uh, our national emblem? emblem? Ashoka Chakra, 26 spoons. Is it Hindu? What is our stamba? Four lines. Whose is it? Saranatha, Buddhist. Is it Hindu? Are you going to rewrite it? Are you going to wipe out it? Okay, now come to Guptas. What is Gupta's whole thing? 25% India rule, you call Indian emperor. Right? What are you going to write about that? Now, this is where rewriting the history is a very complicated subject. Now, if you look at today's India, is today's India consists of all the things that happened or did not happen during these 800 years from 12th century today. Is it only because of the British? No. Is it only because of Muslims? No. Now, mind you, if Muslims, uh, the four or five dynasties ruled that long, who were the administrators, you and me? Who were? <coughs> who were Hindus? Not all Hindus. Only those Hindus who were uh, ab capable of reading, writing, and speaking. Was it allowed to entire India? Think about it. Was every Indian allowed to educate himself or herself? What is your history, knowledge of history? Can illiterate man go and uh, become a clerk or a minister or anybody, commander there? No. So that was limited India. What history you are going to write? What was the judicial system? Friends, you remember, all of us are part of CRPC, IPC, and Evidence Act. Who made them? When did the British system come into India? 1773, 1773, Warren Hastings time, or is that is a um, uh, reform order number one, Calcutta. That's where he set up the first British court in Murshidabad, not Calcutta, Murshidabad. 
That time it's only for British, the Englishmen in India. Then they added Muslim. Then they added Hindus. But who were delivering this justice? For Muslims, Khajis would come. For Hindus, Pandits would come. For Englishmen, English judge will be there. Three systems, slowly, slowly. By about 18, 10 or so, it improved like that. But judges were the British. Those who were assisting, they were Hindus for Hindus, Pandits, and in, uh, in, uh, the Christians for Christians, and uh, the Muslims for Khazis. Khazis for, for Muslims for uh, in those matters. It's a marriage, divorce, murder, whatever. What were the laws we were talking about? No Indian Penal Court, no CRPC, no Evidence Act. Now, what was a Hindu law for Hindus? You kindly think about it, friends. Uh, is any lawyer here among you yourself who has studied law? Pardon me? Huh. What is Hindu law? How many Hindu criminal law? How many are there? Can anybody tell? Okay. The Hindu Marriage Act today, Hindu Succession Act today, Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act today, Hindu Adoption Act today. These were done when Hindu Marriage Act was 1955. 1955. Other three acts, 1956. What are those four laws based on? Prior to that, there is one law called Hindu Code Bill prepared by one B. N. Rao from Karnataka. Mind you, whatever others may say, Indian Constituent Assembly had one advisor who had written the draft Indian Constitution. If I ask you how, who wrote Indian Constitution, you will say Ambedkar. N no. No. Draft Indian Constitution was prepared by, written by, submitted by B. N. Rao. Bengal, Narasingha Rao. He was Prime Minister of Kashmir. He was an ICS officer. He was advisor to the Constituent Assembly on record. That draft was accepted. That draft was discussed. And a new constitution was written based on that working paper. OK. In the next four phase, it's Ambedkar. First phase, it was this man. He was the author of Hindu Code Bill in 1945. Then in 1948, same thing was scrutinized by Ambedkar in 1950, placed before the parliament. You tell me, what was Indian parliament in 1950? Was there parliament? Was there parliament? Constituent Assembly was deemed as interim parliament. It had about 266 numbers, members. It was placed before them. What happened? What happened to Hindu Code Bill? It was overwhelmingly about to be rejected. And Jawaharlal Nehru asked him, you withdraw that. What Ambedkar did? He withdrew and resigned and left the cabinet. The first Indian cabinet did not have a single party. It had Janasang. Shama Prasad Mukherjee, Education Minister, Ambedkar, RPI, Republican Party of India, and different parties. All parties had their ministers there. It was a non-party government before 1952. 1947, August 15th to 1950, 52. It was interim parliament. It was an interim cabinet. It was a non-partisan, all-party government. During that time, Hindu Code Bill was rejected Ambedkar resigned and left. Why did? He said, Hindu society as it has been all these thousand years must change. Therefore, we must rewrite our Hindu laws. Now what's our history then? Whatever our laws, now all of you have heard this, finally remember. Until that time and even until 2005, only one Hindu, two Hindu laws were there. They are called Mitakshara. You heard about Mitakshara? Mind you, it was written by a Kannadiga in that 11th, 12th century. His name is the Vidnyaneshwara. 
He was a court scholar in Basava Kalyan, Chalukyas of Kalyan. And I was responsible, in fact, I was asked by the government to rebuild his statue there, and I built it, okay, as part of Basava Kalyan Development Board. With Nyaneshwara Cave is there, with Nyaneshwara Gavi is there. We have rebuilt it. Now a law call has even started in his name in Sedam Taluk, with Nyaneshwara Institute of Law, based on it. He wrote Mitakshara Hindu law. But then you think about what is Mitakshara Hindu law? It is based on Yadne Valke Smriti. Yadne Valke Smriti. That was one of the Hindu laws, mind you. One of the Hindu laws. There are 17 more. Parashara Smriti, Manus Smriti, Yadne Valke Smriti. You go on. 18 different systems of Hindu laws. 18. They are called Hindu Dharma Shastras. Dharma Shastras. 18 of them. Hadinento Purana Galu, Vasa Purana Antare, Hadinento Shastra Galu, Vandanura Entu Upanishad Galu, Nalko Veda Galu, Yu Nama Hindu system. Legal system in Bandaga, Hadinento Kaya Deli, Yao Kaya Desari, Yao Kaya Desari, New Barada Koge, Alondi there, Mysuri Bani, Ilondi there, Cochin Koge, Matondi there. Bere bere Rajru, bere bere system na jari matte do tam ista patti do. Ya kista patti do? Ali local Brahman pandit hel ti do, ad follow matti do. So Hindu law is not one, eighteen. Now it was so funny for the British judges. Look here, this guy says Manusmriti, this guy says Parashasmriti, that guy says Yadnivalka Smriti. In all these three day systems, or 18 systems, 18 different things are there. You commit murder. What should be punishment for you? Here it says three years. Here it says murder under it. There it says lifelong imprisonment. Which is right? It's a bewildering situation. So they said subsequently stop it. So what did Cole Colebrook was a British judge who wrote these things. Mitakshara. And in West Bengal, Calcutta Presidency, there was another system. There's a 12th century system, Daya Bhaga. That doesn't apply to India. Except Northeast India, that is uh, not entire Northeast India. West Bengal, Bihar, and Orissa. For three, three states, Daya Bhaga was a system. For rest of India, Mitakshara was a system of Hindu law. And then the Northeast, tribal belts, no law. Even today, Indian law don't apply. You know that? Six, schedule 6 Indian Constitution, Schedule 5 Indian Constitution, those states are not covered by Hindu law. If you get into IAS, go to those states. There is no IPC, no CRPC, no evidence act. Who decides who's a judge? My own batchmates were there. We used to exchange everything in my IAS batch. SK Patna, half a dozen people. They used to tell their experiences how to deal with this. This is Indian law. Now, what history you write? What is the legal history of Indian judicial system before the British? Therefore, 1873 up to 1832. What is 1832? We all criticize Macaulay. Macaulay was sent as a law member here. And he drafted Indian Penal Code, 1832. Gave it to the government, but they didn't accept it. Kept it. Then 1857 war took place. Indians lost, British won, immediately proclaimed, accepted the draft, that is today's Indian Penal Code. Four years later, they wrote Indian Criminal Procedure Code, James Pitt, James Stephen. And then four years later, they wrote Indian Evidence Act, that is a second law commission. First law commission was Macaulay's. Second law commission was that time. Third law commission drafted the Evidence Act. Then they proclaimed all over India, this is the law. This is a British law. So in 1956, when they drafted Hindu Code Bill, uh, sorry, 1950 Hindu Code Bill, then 1955-56 Hindu laws, they have nothing to do with original Hinduism or Hindus. I give uh, authority to, I can tell you, they have nothing to do. Peripherally. After 2005, Section 25 of the the, the uh, Indian Marriage Act 
was again repealed by the Supreme Court. And now there is no difference between men and women in respect of right to property. 2005, this is the last portion of Mitakshala has gone. Today there is no Mitakshala. Hindu court bill, rather Hindu laws have nothing to do with these 18 Shastras. See, is that history? That's not a history. What history you want to write? Manusmriti? Think about it. So whole thing is in a turmoil. Your rewriting of history is not a joke, but joke is happening. What history you write? Whose history you write? And how do you look at today's developments in the light of the new history you write? Are you going to scrap all Hindu laws? Now come to Indian constitution. What is Indian constitution as we stand today? It is the best principles from the whole world. What are the best principles? We took fundamental rights from which country? United States. United States. Fundamental rights, chapter 3. We took uh, parliamentary democracy from which country? The UK. We took directive principle state policy from which country? Ireland. Why did you not take patient system by America directly? Elect Ashoka, Akbar, Anthony, whatever. We didn't do that. We didn't take the French system. But we took the French system indirectly. How did we do indirectly? Our preamble is French. Fraternity, liberty, equality, and justice. These were the four slogans which came up in which revolution? French Revolution. When was that? 1789. Perfect. So I don't need to labor much on that. So that is from our preamble is from France. Chapter 3 is from America, United States. Chapter 4, Directive Principles from Ireland. Parliamentary Democracies from England. Today, is it Indian then? Friends, you think, is it Indian then? What are our friends saying? So nothing Indian, scrap it. Are they not saying? If they are saying, what do you replace it with? What do you replace with? Rajaha Pratyaksha Devataha. King commits no mistakes. So you become a king, do anything you want. The king commits no mistakes. Manu Dharma Smriti Lino Dheli there. That king who does not obey the Smritis will go to hell and lose his kingdom. Who is that king? Yet to be born. So that's future history. Now think, this is the situation. Indian history as we know is no longer going to be valid as per today's situation. What history they are going to write, nobody knows. This is a flux. Our history is changing, so if you are there for 115, 20 years, your history, your children, grandchildren will not know anything. They will have totally different history. Okay. Now, constitution also same thing, if they change the constitution. Now, come to economy. What is our economy? Today, including Karnataka, one by one, including LIC, BHL, NTPC, what are they doing? Privatizing. Who are buying? Three, three Murti Group. Okay, now what is happening? Our socialist pattern of society is given a goodbye. And we are coming back by what? Capitalist society. Now, therefore, what they are doing? That world socialist appearing in the preamble is going to be? Going to be? Deleted. Now, secularism. What are they saying? Pseudo-secularism. Right? Anyone who is pseudo-secularist means secularism is not a value. When was it added? 42nd Amendment. Which year? 76. Okay. And secular was added when? Socialist was added when? Same. So now they are saying in the original Indian constitution, socialist was not there. Indira Gandhi added. So it must go because she is daughter of Nehru. So and then uh, secularism was not there. It must go because Indira Gandhi did it. So we can remove. 
we have the majority to change the government, uh, sorry, constitution, change it. So the moment you take away secular, the moment you take away socialist, are you going to change the scenario in the country? Are you going to change the scenario in the country? Well, we make everyone equal. How? Remove reservation. Reservation dis discriminates, you know. Remove it. Can you remove it? Think about it. You are administrators who are going to be part of that. This is the scenario. Now, all I'm trying to say is things are in a flux. They are changing. How many of you have seen that great the play, cinema, Dr. Zivago? Or how many of you have read that novel, Zivago? It's a wonderful novel, wonderful movie. You open Google and see it. Why I'm seeing, saying is, if you see that movie, it's a long movie, Russian movie, it shows what will be the nature of things at a time of transition from one system to another system. Dr. Zivago was the son of a famous, very famous Russian doctor. He goes to another country to study medicine, advanced medicine. A few years later, he comes back. When was that? When did revolution take place in Russia? 1917. He comes back a few years later, goes to his house, big palatial house, in the pre-revolution days. And there he finds his big palace is occupied by 700 families. His be each bedroom is a separate family. They are mushroom. Yes, he goes there. He says, my house. Who are these people? He says, this is our house. Even he even says, my house. The government has given me. Everything changes. He could not understand. He was about to go mad. That is the situation we are all Dr. Jiva goes today. What would be the nature of things? We don't know. What is a thing? Today we are in a period of transition. Right or wrong? I won't pass value judgments. I would only say nature of the things taking place today in the country are, I'm not saying disturbing, I'm not saying negative, nor am I saying positive. I am telling you facts as they are, judge yourself. This is the scenario in which you are administrators. Now, this is history. This is a philosophy. What philosophy? Secularism is a philosophy. Socialism is a philosophy. It's a value system. And uh, Chaturvana system is a philosophy. Now, in, from where are we going to where? From where to where? This is philosophy, value system. Think about it. Education. I'll take that example because it's relevant to you directly, immediately, now and here itself. They drafted the new education policy and the chairman was again Kasturi Rangan for Karnataka. Kasturi Rangan was a top scientist, space scientist. How can he know social, uh, political, economic system? But he wrote, let him write. Now, there are some very fine points. I've given lectures on this in seven universities, new education policy. There are some very fine points. Now in the entire country, Karnataka is going to be the first state to implement it. Now I'll ask you a few questions. You're all administrators. Many of you are working in the education department. Ask yourself. In the new syllabus, in the new system, a primary school will begin at what age? At the age of three, sir. Huh? Three at years, not three. Six. Madam, you are outdated. At the age of three, your school, your kid can go to school. Today, why you go to KG school? Tomorrow, he will go to government school, not private. Or maybe private also, but three, four, five are going to be what? Elementary, elementary education. Pardon me? New education elementary, part? sir. Tell me. Ele elementary education. Your child shall go to schools now third year, end of third year, fourth, fifth, and sixth is together one, sixth, seventh, eighth, another, then ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, third. 
there will be no pvc board you are aware government has issued order are you aware or not are you aware or not pvc board has been abolished sslc board has been abolished already issued orders now what is that four years called 9th 10th 11th and 12th is it high school higher secondary or college it is high it is called higher secondary sir now what is secondary higher secondary now tell me what is secondary sir there is uh, no secondary now ha ah, what is it, it called it is elementary ah. primary ha ah. high school and higher secondary look at that that's a correct one elementary 3 years elementary school earlier we were calling elementary okay now it's different then uh, primary now today starts with uh, which year the fourth year fifth year sixth year seventh year that is fourth year sorry uh, third fourth fifth then sixth year seventh year eighth year ninth year up to eighth only after eighth ninth tenth twelfth thirteenth that's a ninth uh, um, ninth and tenth first year second year pc they together one higher secondary this is a system now this is a policy as it is you have to write textbooks now are they ready you have to train so many teachers for this elementary school where are they where are they you are montessori teachers you are kg school teachers in the government system mind you where are they you abolish the pvc board fine you abolish I uh, the SLC board fine. But how do you conduct this year exam? What exam do you conduct? PUC or SLC? Are together separately or together? Or you don't conduct any? Think about it. Now, I'll go to college. All of us did how many years degree? Uh, today, how many years? Four years. Four years. Four years only. No, five. I'll come back later. now your pg degree how many years you did two years now it is can be one year your ma msc mcom can be one year do you can now directly go to phd without doing ma mcom or msc directly if you do five year degree if you do five year degree you can go to phd without msc mcom ma ma is a new system mind you <coughs> for me it is nothing new because that's where i studied in england and america all over the world primary education means educate compulsory education is 12 years 12 years but our degree america everywhere is 4 years here it was 3 years our school education was 10 years college education was 3 years therefore what was happening american universities were not accepting your ma as equal to their ma so therefore i was told to do one more i have exempt i institutions in india tata institute bill iims and iisc bangalore i was from tata institute they exempted me directly and they admitted to phd i did another ms later out of my own volition in research, applied research methodology but that that has nothing to do with them so earlier you would not have got admission to other universities in america for ma unless you do their ma that are compulsory so 12 year education perfectly fine is nothing new to me okay now four year degree new this is where i studied in american england i did my msc from bath university england i taught for a semester in cambridge institute of criminology cambridge university and did my msc and phd in america so is there nothing new so to that action to can say is a very good system i would say good system because it is on par with the rest of the world also government takes responsibility for elementary education 3 years now we were implementing karnataka you tell me your syllabus is not ready even the college even the university and you know what textbooks were written by whose committee what happened to him so i don't need to repeat that is that the way to implement this wonderful policy is good as i said policy is good it's international policy is comprehensive good but how are you implementing you don't have teachers you are not retrain them you are not in syllabus 
you have not written textbooks, but you want to implement. Can today in this situation any principal secretary, education, or higher education go and tell the minister, sir, this year you cannot implement? Can he say? Ask yourself. If he says tomorrow he will be sacked, is our government decision? Who made that on what basis? Are you ready? Yes, we'll mentally. Physically, are you ready? Where are your textbooks? Where is your syllabus? Where are your trained teachers? Have you given any advantage? It takes two, three years. You would have done it after three, four years in a nice way, preparing all this. Why are you in a great hurry? The election year. We want to impress the high command, low command, whatever command. We want to score a higher point in debate that we are very progressive. Yes, we are progressive. But this is not the way to implement a progression. That's where bureaucracy comes. That's where the bureaucracy comes. Can you go and sir, I can't implement. Even if you want, you can transfer me. Can you say that? That's bureaucracy. What's your role then? Can you give an independent, considered opinion without bias based on facts only? Will it be tolerated? Think about it. Same thing, demonetization. Did anyone listen to anything? Anyone who implemented today, my batchmate, Das, is RBI governor. He was the man in charge of demonetization in the finance ministry. He was in charge of economic affairs. Today he's a governor of RBI. Two more fellows, my batchmates, 1980 batch, 28 fellows are secretary to the government of India. Election Commission of India chairman was my roommate and batchmate. Sushil Chandra. Lavasa was my batchmate. Today he is executive president in the Asian Development Bank. Okay. And when he raised objection, he was removed. Anyway, that's a different story. Okay, I don't go to individual criticize. I'm only asking raising issues. As a bureaucrat, you are supposed to give considered, factually correct, logically consistent opinion whether Minister takes it or not. Can you give that opinion? Think yourself. If you do what happens, if you don't do what happens, remember one thing. Whatever any politician may say, whatever any particular party may say, whatever might be their manifesto, who implements them? Can a minister or a government implement without a bureaucracy? Tell me. If you are an upright bureaucrat at a top level, you should say, this is it, sir. You can't do it, and don't put the blame on me. I'm telling you. You overrule me. But I will not agree. Has any secretary today given this statement anywhere? Can he or she give? Think about it. That's the situation you are in. OK? As I said earlier, corrupt is a non-issue. When nobody talks about it, so forget about it. We'll not raise that issue there. Okay. Now come back to that. Now, what situation you are working in today? As I said, when I joined service, 45 years for 1980. How many years now? So 79. I wrote exam. Today, when about 40, 44 years now. Okay. 44 years back, we did not have any watchdog. Today, how many watchdogs we have? Can you imagine which are those watchdogs? You go to Anganwadi, inspect the Anganwadi, take some decision. If that affects your decision, any child, who will come immediately there? Huh? State Child Rights Commission will come. You take any decision which unintentionally or in right interest affects some SC, SC Commission will come. ST Commission will come with the STs. Minority Commission will come for minorities. OBC will come, will, will come for OBC person. Then above all, the seventh one is what? Human Rights Commission. Then you say anything about women anywhere, you know who are they? You are all beneficiaries, we are the victims. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who will come? Women's rights. Children's right, women's right, SC right, SC right, minority right, OBC right, then human right. 
these are all watchdogs. As principal secretary home, I would I was receiving every week one or two directions and orders from National Human Rights Commission. You release two lakh rupees so and so. This your government has done this. If you do, you are you are in problem. If you don't do, you are in problem. I said in the after case, I said I'll not release. Okay, we'll go in appeal, but this case is not proper. Nothing happened. We refused. But uh, nobody would take panga. They would release. Okay. Then, uh, then uh, you see, that time just set up Human Rights Commission Karnataka. Today, another four people sitting there. They have no work, so they have to find some work. So this is the work they find. Release two lakhs. Two lakhs, three lakhs. Human Rights Commission. This is Human Rights, another one. Okay. Human, human rights, women rights, child rights, SC rights, ST rights, right, minority rights, obese rights. Now, during our time, none of them was there. Only one commission was there, as a national commission for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. They were together. Now they are bifurcated. Whether right or wrong, I'm not saying. I'm only saying your actions are under watch by all these watchdogs. And now, in addition, you are departmental bosses, you are the people, the media. Today, media, less said the better. You better be careful on day to day working. Somebody who comes to talk to you might have his uh, mobile recording on. You will not know. It may be in his pocket. It may be in her purse or vanity bag. But if it is on, whatever you say, sense or nonsense, it will be on record. If one word goes out of, uh, out of way or a casual comment, you will be caught. They might have taken pictures also. Everybody has mobile. And it will go, if not government, if not police, straightway it will go to Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. So many of our Samis, many of our politicians, many of our officers are getting caught. Why? These are social media. Now look at our mainstream media. Is there an independent media in India? Is Indian media today, mainstream media, independent? 70% of Indian media is bought over by whom? Who owns 70% of Indian media today? Adani, uh, sorry, Ambani. Capitalists. CNN is his. Suvarna, Channel, and Kannada Prabha are owned by our own MP, Rashtra MP. Who is it? Rajiv Chandrasekhar. And rest of them are owned by Adani. So only 5-10% independent mainstream media is independent. But they are also not independent. Why? They have to survive too many restrictions, news print distribution, advertisement distribution. Okay. So the media has been tamed. Now where do you go? You go to courts. What are our courts? Yesterday, I traveled with a high court judge, Nividri. He is a lawyer. He was telling his own case, which has taken 40 years. After 40 years, verdict has come. Now they are going to Supreme Court. Average any civil case filed in a civil court today and takes not less than five to seven years, including land acquisition cases. You are talking about my uh, you know, tenure in uh, Apakashna Project. Why is it? 10-year, 12-year land action case languishing like that. We settled uh, 36,000 cases in 17 local dollars. We had 15 courts, our own courts, 15 Apakshna project courts, special civil courts. We had 15 government lawyers. I took away that power from law department, placed them under my control. We had control over all these courts, uh, 15 courts, 17 courts. And thereafter, I got a law secretary, education secretary placed there, one Indalgi and another Kulkarni. They did wonderful thing, we streamlined. Then we took out all those cases placed before the local dollar. We settled them in six months' time. People got their dues bending for 15 years, 10 years, and government was paying through its nose. But that is out of court. That's in judicial system. And uh, I don't talk much about the judicial bias, no bias, etc. There's too much in a public forum to talk like that. But what I'm saying here, where do you go? How do you work? You are constantly under watch. And your political bosses want you to listen to them and do whatever they want. I was DC in four districts. Ballari, 
ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಕಾರವಾರ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಓಕೆ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಪಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ನೈಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸಾರಿ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ವಿ ವೇ ಡಿ ಸೀಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿ ದೇ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಡು ಯು ನೋ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ದ ಡೆಪ್ಟಿ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಹೂ ವರ್ ದ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಪಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ ದ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಸೊ ಡಿ ಸಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೈ ಬಳ್ಳಾರ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಬೈ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬೀಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಸೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ದೆ ಮೇಟ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಜಡ್ ಪಿ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಚೀಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಬಿ ಜೂನಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೈ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಡಿ ಸಿ ವಾಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸಾರಿ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಮಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಇ ಓ ಹೀ ವಾಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾಶಂಕರ್ ಮೈ ಜೂನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಹೀ ವಾಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಐ ಹಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಎ ಜೂನಿಯರ್ ಡೆಕನ್ ಯಾರ್ ರೋಟ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಜನತಾ ದಳ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಜನತಾ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಜಾರಾಜ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ಹೌ ಡಿ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಸಿ ಇ ಓ ಜೂನಿಯರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ಓ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಶಂಕರ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ವೈ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ವೆಂಕಟರಾಮನ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಅಡ್ವೈಸರ್ ಟು ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಾರಿ ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಲ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಆಫಿಸರ್ ಈ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಫೈನಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಹಿಮ್ ಸರ್ ಮೈ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಐ ವರ್ ಎಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜಡ್ ಪಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ನಾವು ಎನ್ ಐ ಗೋ ದೇರ್ ಎಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ದೇ ಸೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಹೂ ದ ಹೆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಲಿಸನ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಡಿ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಆಫಿಸರ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಡೇಟ್ ಜಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಅಗ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮೈ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಪೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮೀ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಕಾರ್ವಾರ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ರಾಜ್ ವಾಗ್ ಜನ ಕ್ರೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಂಗಾರಪ್ಪ ರೂಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಬಂಗಾರಪ್ಪ ರಿಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಜಡ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಡ್ ಪಿ ಸೊ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಡೇಸ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯೂರಾಕ್ರಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ವಿದಿನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್
who was ZP Adhyaksha. He's a barrister, mind you, but to what extent he went? You are a barrister. Do you think what he did is right? Sir, sorry, I'm opening it today. He's a bureaucrat. Today, what do you do if you are in that position? This is how the things are changing. From a totally powerful system to less powerful, least powerful, today we are coming to no power. Now what are you? Non-entity. You are an entity. You are not non-entity. You are living there, sitting there. <laughs> but your word doesn't count because my word counts. I am your boss. Okay. Now, if you, those who have studied political science or public administration, you have read so much literature on political executive versus civil servants. You have read, no? Now, what is the equation today? What is the equation today? You, uh, you read so much about bureaucracy. Impersonal, impartial, honest, professional, independence. Right? Can you display any one of these things today? That's a scenario. I'm talking about your word scenario. I'm talking about environment. Look at this. So where do you go from here? Where do you go from here? I told in the beginning, I go back to that, you don't need to be disappointed. Because in IIS, a slogan is, what is the IIS emblem? No, no, Indian Institute, what is the emblem there? This, uh, Dharma Rakshati Rakshitaha. Yaro Dharma Vano Rakshitaro Avrano? That uh, appears in what? It appears in Mahabharata, Yudha Kanda. But then, what was the context of Dharma? Dharma that time means uh, Chaturvarna Dharma. If you talk about Bhagavad Gita today, Krishna tells Arjuna, you fight, who dies, who survives, who wins, will you say not? It is not your concern. Whose concern is that? What do Gita says? What does Gita say? Karman ne vadikarastu, kelsa maduk matanin kartavya, maam phale sukadachin, the result is none of your business. Whether you die or survive, whether you win or lose, none of your concern. Your role is to fight. Now we go back to Lord Tennyson in the charge of the Light Brigade. What he says to the soldiers? You are not to, ha you are not to ask why. You are here to do and die. You are here soldiers. You are here to die. You are and Sayyidin Kartavanta. Same thing Arjuna tells you, Arjuna gave Krishna Hiltane. As Arjuna Yak Hiltan Krishna, please see the word. You are a Kshatriya. Kshatriya is to fight the war, to defend the state, to defend your right. You fight the war. Would he have told to Drona? Same thing. Drona was one of the persons who killed. Would he have told her to anybody else there? Think about that, Bhagavad Gita. We have to assess every word like that. You know, leave it. No, I'm only coming back to this. So you are supposed to do and die. Astray. You want to take it? You be there. If you don't want to take it, you leave. Astray. Now, mind you one more thing. In America, anyone who intends to join government service is supposed to be a lazy fellow, useless fellow. Lazy fellow, useless fellow. Okay, ninety percent of everything, whether it's airlines or railways or bus transport, everything is in the private sector. That is our their capitalist system. We don't have that system, but you are in this system, so that is your role. Do you agree? I would say you don't need to. Okay, you put it in the notes. I shall not implement this order, sir. Mind you, friends, I can give you not one, hundreds and hundreds of examples in my own case. And I deferred and I told him, I will not uh, implement it. I took it to cabinet. I took it to law department. I reversed. If anyone quotes, I remember, I, I named those ministers. Two, three are dead, others are alive. 
Nothing will happen. Dharmo rakshati rakshita. Provided you are not corrupt. Provided you are not partial. Provided you are not partisan. You will survive. If you do that thing, system will function properly. You will not be affected. And system will improve in the long run. That's all I would say. Thank you very much. I think we had a wonderful session, sir. Uh, or they know we were in awe of his uh, knowledge, presentation, and all that when we were professionals, and we are still in awe of your. Uh, Dates and other things are just tongue, tip of the tongue. Or head there. Now, house is open for uh, discussions, clarifications, doubts, or questions. Oh, you can also make comments. Comments. Yes, yes, Co and comments also. First, offline. Ah, uh, sorry, online, please. If I have a, my friends are sir, uh, sir, please introduce. I am uh, Major Sidlinga Hiramat, sir. Uh, from Dharwad, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, sir, uh, you have been a great inspiration uh, for most of us. In fact, uh, I remember it was 25th July 2000, sir. I was in college and uh, it was our annual day. And uh, you were uh, the chief guest for the day. And uh, if you permit, I will share a photograph of that day, sir. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. This is the photograph. Uh, uh, you gave me an uh, uh, best outstanding uh, uh, outgoing student award, sir. Where was this? Sir, this was in uh, BLD College, uh, Bijapur, sir. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember. And in attendance is uh, former minister for irrigation, uh, Mr. M. B. Patil, sir. Yeah. Yes. Uh, ask question, Major. Sir, uh, thank you, sir. It was an inspiring talk. You are Haan, in the sir. army, so uh, charge as a light brigade applies to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. In fact, uh, your talk, your talk was very rejuvenating, sir. It led us, uh, it you know, it has motivated us to read more, uh, so as to become better officers, understand our uh, past, understand our history, and uh, it has you know motivated us to inspired us to work in the present context. Uh, you are right, sir. Uh, all those things that you said at the end, uh, the atmosphere is very which vitiated. Uh, it is not a very conducive atmosphere like one which you enjoyed uh, probably during your DC Bellary days. Yes, you outlined it very nicely how it deteriorated over your, your period of time. And I'm sure, sir, you will agree with me. We are working in very, very difficult circumstances. Yeah, Captain Major, I want to tell you one more thing in common with you. I was an army officer. Oh, that's great, sir. Um, I was recruited through the officers' unit of Indian Army. I was in Kumau Regiment shortly before commissioning, is a commission post, okay? As second lieutenant, I resigned and got out. Otherwise, my career would have been in the Army. <laughs> 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 yeah. Sir, uh, uh, Kumau, Kumau Regiment is one of the finest regiments of Indian Army, sir. I served, with, uh, I served with Jammu and Kashmir Rifles. Ah, sir, sir, sir uh, I agree with whatever you said, but I would like to add a little more, sir. Yeah, sir, please. the present context is so bad that if you want to stand upright, the whole system conspires to bring you down, sir. And it has my experience has been very rough, sir. Uh, in fact, uh, we are not even protected by the senior officers, and uh, uh, majority of the times we are completely lost in this huge ocean. We do not. We do not know where to look forward to. You look to yourself. You see, better to be an island than to be a drop in the ocean. Okay, stand uh, like a rock in the island, no matter how strong are the sea waves or tsunami, and you will not fail. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
ಮತ್ತೆ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಕೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಇನ್ನ ಒಪ್ಪಿರೋದು ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಬಾಬು ಅಂತ ಸರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ರೀಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರೊಬೇಷನರ್ಸ್ ತಹಶೀಲ್ದಾರ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾಗ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಐಮ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ದಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾವು ಸರ್ಗೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಇದ್ರು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಜನ್ವರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಎತ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಮುಂದೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆದರು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸರ್ ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮುಖದಲ್ಲಿ ಖುಷಿ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಖುಷಿ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಎಂಬತ್ತಾರು ಆದಮೇಲಿಂದ ಹೊಸದಾಗಿ ಪ್ರೊಬೇಷನರ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನು ಹೆಂಗಿದ್ವಿ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಗೆ ನೋಡ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ನಮಗೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಚೇಂಬರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾವು ಒಳಗಡೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಕರೆದು ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಇವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡಿ ನನಗೆ ಬೇಗ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ವಿತಿನ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ವಿತಿನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಡೇಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮದೆಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ರು ಆ ನಂತರ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಈಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೀದಾ ಸರ್ವೆಗೆ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಎರಡು ಜನ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ಗೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ಸಾಹೇಬರು ಕಳಿಸಿ ಅಲ್ಲೋಗಿ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೈಸೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಟ್ಟದ ಹಿಂಭಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಫುಡ್ಡಿನ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲೊಬ್ಬ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇದ್ದರು ದೆನ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ಗೆ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀರಿಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಊಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೊಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಈ ವಾಂಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಒಂದು ರಾತ್ರಿ ಈ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಹುಡುಗರು ಕರೆದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಏನಪ್ಪ ನಾನು ಏನೋ ತೊಂದರೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ವಿ ಸೆಟ್ ನೋ ತೊಂದರೆ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಊಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೀರಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ಟೈಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಮತ್ತು ನಾವೂ ಹೋಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೇಷನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ವಿ ಮತ್ತೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸರ್ವೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನೋಬಡಿ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದರ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲಿಂದ ಸರ್ಗೆ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಂಡಿಯಮ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ನಮಗೆ ಅದು ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಈಗ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಬಳಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಪ್ರೊಬೇಷನರ್ಸು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸರ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದು ಈಗಲೂ ನನ್ನ ಲೈಬ್ರರಿಲಿ ಇದೆ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರೊಬೇಷನ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಸ್ವಂತ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಥರ ನೋಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ವೈ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಲೆಜೆಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಇತ್ತೀಚಿನ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಜೊಜ್ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಈ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವೀಕಾರ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ರೆಡಿ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಓನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪ್ರೊಮೋಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಮೈನಿ ಲಾಬೀಸ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದೂವರೆ ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ದ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಜಗದೀಶ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟರ್ ಸರ್ ಇದ್ರು ಅಂತ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಅಷ್ಟು ಜ
ಕರೆಸಿ ಕೆಲವು ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಕೊಡಿ ಅದರಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೊಬೇಷನರ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಅದ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತಾ ರೆವಿನ್ಯೂ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ನಡೀತಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಅದನ್ನು ಮುಂದುವರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ During the time I was Joint Secretary in DPR, the situation was so funny, William the Patel was Chief Minister, we found that as against the order of those days, 140 posts of senior case officers, there were 310 case officers in the senior scale. That time you didn't have selection grade. You didn't have a, a super time scale in case. This is only junior scale and senior scale. So 200 posts were extra. We didn't know where to deal with it because they had occupied that and junior officers would not get promotion. And junior officers, how many posts were there? that time, mind you, there was no class one uh, tassil, uh, grade one tassil or grade two, all classes same grade, or <coughs> class two officers. Now, <coughs> as you know, there were only 189 taluk, class two, this uh, central taluk, uh, Bengal, 189, 191 taluk were there. As against that, uh, 280 tassil that were there. Now, what to deal with it? Then we did an exercise. How many will retire? When? We drew up. How many on an average die every year? We got it. How many will retire? We got it. <laughs> How many will be dismissed? That we got it. We had figures in the board. Calculating all these, we thought we must slim it down to the approved father's point. So then it took eight years. Then we gave a uh, written direction to department, revenue department, all of this, saying that next eight years, there will be no recruitment. Whatever you are notified, they will not be appointed. That is a delay. All of the 86 people board, no recruitment has done. Recruitment done, but not <laughs> Then all of a sudden, look at that, how things come back to you. You did that in DPR. You come back and occupy revenue. What you find? All have retired. Or are, uh, are resigned, are dead, are dismissed. Okay. Now what has happened? Out of 182, 89 regular taluk, there were only 17 direct recruits. All of them are under Rule 32. Independent charge fellows. They were all secondary clerks rising to become independent charge tassildar. And I inspected the uh, surprise. They know nothing about the law, procedure, and all that. Okay. It was terrible to visit the Tasildas office. MP Prakash was minister that time, not the Gisha. 20, 20 minutes they were there. 20, 20 months. So I told, this is chaotic. You cannot go to Tasildas office. There is no Tasildas. They are all uh, horrible. Then uh, we go. We said we'll go in for recruitment. We went and met Krishna, KPC chairman. He said, sir, we are recruited 98 by 98 back. They are held up in the Supreme Court. He said, that's your lookout. Why are they held up? Because of all the things we did. Okay. Then uh, we, we took a decision. We went before the cabinet. We dec recruited departmentally outside the board. We framed the rules. Law department approved. Service rules. They are finance approved. Everybody approved. Cabinet also approved. We issued the recruitment rules, new rules. Department Recruitment Committee, DRC. We constituted. We are about to issue notification directly, apply, uh, you know, asking for direct applicants. For department through the committee. Around that time, SM Krishna went to, by that time, uh, it was a coalition government, you know that, Janata Dal and Congress. So he went to, met Mr. Devagoda, Devagoda called me, yes, we are doing this. Uh, what to do? There is nothing. They have to either get me a list in two months' time or we'll go ahead. So Devagoda understood the situation when I explained to him, myself and Peter, both we went. And first, the MP is not alive now. But uh, he understood. Then, okay, I get your point. Uh, if they don't get in three months' time, you start it. That is assurance given to us. He came back. Within one and a half months' time, one list was released. <laughs> Supreme Court distributed a stay order. How it, what happened, I know. Okay, how they got it, uh, I'm not going to discuss. But 99 batch came, came 80 batch. 99, 80 people. Right? So, you junior became senior. Am I right? Uh, then, uh, within two months thereafter, they released 98 batch. 
So then I wrote to DPI, look, junior fellows have become seniors, seniors will be juniors, how do you deal with it? Then law department and DPI told us, you take a bond from them. So all of you are given bonds, no? <laughs> what is the bond? <laughs> what is the bond you have given? <laughs> we will not claim seniority. Am I right? Still there. <laughs> but still there. <laughs> still there. <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> then I, I, well, Lord Pan said this. So I took the bonds from you and uh, we appointed all of you in two months' time after Central List came. So then came 2004 batch. All this in four months' time, three batches were released. And that is a wonder in Indian judiciary. And who played the wonder? There's an unknown hand. I will not tell what it is. Okay? That's how it came to be. First delay was caused by, for, uh, by the DPR for cadre management. Second delay was expedited by the threat of direct recruitment. And SM Krishna, sound SM Krishna. Yes, Krishna, yes, Krishna. H.S. Krishna. So he came and said, I should know Maralan. So all of you are witnesses to that. <laughs> that is the kind of situation. Uh, but now the cadre is being little better managed. Now one more thing I tell you, why you got quick promotion? You see, there was a problem. <coughs> this, these facilitators who were holding independent charge, holding for five years, six years, two to three years. Now what do you do with that? And there are Supreme Court judgments, High Court judgments. <coughs> that by experience he has proved competent. You can't remove them. So 180 posts of grade one facilities were vacant. What we decided, they will be confirmed. We confirmed it. In three months' time, we all promoted them. Because we knew in one and a half year, they were all retired. Okay, we promoted all of them. First thing, confirmation in the independent charge of Tassilas, then in the well, uh, less than three months time, promoted them like grade one Tassilas. So all grade two third post became vacant, we appointed you. But then as I said earlier, we had calculated all that. In one and a half year time, all of them retired. You got promotion how many years to senior chair? Grade one Tassilas? In three years. In three years. Otherwise, how many years it would take? Five years. Five years. So that early work. Then, I, IAS promotion. Many of you are the issues became IAS because of this vacancy position there. So this is a way of cadre management. I don't know what is the situation now. All of you are now assistant commissioner, specialties and all that. I'm sure there will be equal number of vacancies in revenue. I don't know what they are doing. Okay. So this is service management thing, nothing big, big about it. Thank you. Namaskar, sir. Uh, sir. Yes. ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ <laughs> ಬರೋಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎದುರಿಸಿ ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ರು ನಿನ್ನಂತೋಳು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಸರ್ವೈವಲ್ ಆಗೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅದು ಎದುರಿಸೇ ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ದು ನೀನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಚ್ಚರರ್ ಆಗ ಸರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯೂರೋಕ್ರೆಸಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಆ ಅಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ತಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಭೇಟಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದೆ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ನೀವು ಮೊದಲನೇ ಭಾಷಣದಲ್ಲೇ ನನ್ನ ಮುನ್ ನನ್ನ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಭವಿಷ್ಯ ನನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣ ಮುಂದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ನನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣು ಮುಂದಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನನ್ನ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳ ನನ್ನ ತಾವು ನೇಮಕ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ನಮಗೆ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ತಹಶೀಲ್ದಾರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನಮ್ಮ ನಾನು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೊಸನಗರ ಸರ್ ತಾವು ಕಳಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮೋಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮದು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರದು ಜೋಯಿಡ ಮತ್ತು ನಾನು ಹೊಸನಗರ ಆ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗಾದಂಥ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ನಾವು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗಿಗೆ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಿದ್ವಿ ಸರ್ ಬಂದಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ತಮ್ಮಿಂದ ಒಂದು ನೇರವಾದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಫೋನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬಂತು ನಮಗೆ ನನಗೆ ನನಗೆ ನಿಜ ಗಾಬರಿ ಆಯಿತು ಏನು ಅಪರಾಧ ಮಾಡಿದ್ನೋ ಏನು ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಯಿತೋ ಏನು ಕತಿಯೋ ನಾ ಹೇಗೆ ನಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನೋ ಅಂತ ಆದರೆ ಬಂದು ಹೋಗಮ್ಮ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಬಂದಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಪುರ ಮಠದ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಎನ್ಕ್ರೋಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ನೀನು ನನಗೇ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನನಗೊಂದು ಅವಕಾಶವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ರಿ ಎಸ್ I didn't want to 
ಗಿವ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆಯ್ ಇಟ್ ಸರ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ದು ಫೋನ್ ಬಂದಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಜಾಮದಾರ್ ಫೋನ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರ ಫೋನ್ ಬಂದಿದೆಯಾ ನಿನಗೆ ಅಂತ ನೋಡ್ದಂತವ್ರೇ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸರ್ ನನಗೆ ಗಾಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಗಾಬ್ರಿ ಒಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಡ್ಕ ಹತ್ತಿದ್ದಂತೂ ನಿಜ ಸರ್ ಆದರೆ ತಾವು ನನಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಂಥ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ನಾನು ಅಚ್ಚುಕಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಬಂದು ತಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಸರ್ ಧೈರ್ಯಂ ಸರ್ವರ್ತ ಸಾಧನ ಅಂತ ಆ ತಾಲೂಕಿಗೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಕೆಲಸ ತಹಶೀಲ್ದಾರ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂಥವ್ರು ಆ ಮಠಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಶಾಲೆ ಓದಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅವ್ರ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಬಿದ್ದು ಆಹಾರ ಹಾಕಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕೆಲಸ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುವಂಥವ್ರು ಆ ತಾಲೂಕಲ್ಲಿ ಆದರೆ ನನಗೆ ಅಂಥದ್ದೊಂದು ಪ್ರಮೇಯ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನಾನು ನೇರವಾಗಿ ತಾಲೂಕು ಕಚೇರಿಗೆ ಹೋಗೋದೆ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ತಾಲೂಕು ಕಚೇರಿ ಆಡಳಿತವನ್ನು ಕೈಗೆ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ಭಯವಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಆ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ತಾವು ಹೇಳಿದ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಎ ಸಿ ಮತ್ತು ಡಿ ಸಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೇಳೇನೆ ನಾನು ಫೈಲ್ನ ಕಳಿಸ್ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ಸರ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಹದಿನೈದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಫೈಲ್ಗಳು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಅಂತ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರೂಢೀಕರಿಸಿ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಐದು ಗೆದ್ದೋಗಿ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಸರ್ವೆ ಮಾಡಿಸಿ ಅದರ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಒಂದು ಸವಿಸ್ತಾರವಾದಂಥ ಒಂದು ರಿಪೋರ್ಟನ್ನು ನಾನು ತಮಗೆ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅದೇ ಇವತ್ತಿನವರೆಗೂ ನನಗೆ ಈ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಏನಿದೆ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಅಂಜದೆ ತಾವು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಧರ್ಮೋ ರಕ್ಷತಿ ರಕ್ಷಿತ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ವಿರುದ್ಧ ಮಠದ ವಿರುದ್ಧವಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದರೂ ಕೂಡ ನನ್ನ ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ನಿಷ್ಠೆಯಿಂದ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ತಮ್ಮಿಂದಾಗಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಭಾಳ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಿಂದ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಈ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೌದು ಭಾಳಷ್ಟು ನಮ್ಮಂಥ ಮಂದಿಗೆ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತ
सावित्री शरण सलगर अंत ना बसव कल्याण सुमार वर्ष तहशीलदार के सर एर सविद हद्नाक बैच तम बे बीके अंद्र बसव कल्याण अंद्र जमदार सर अस्ट मटिगे प्रतियो बलू पद बर्तद्री सर अःत स्पीच कल बहुत नं सतोष आयत्री सर विषय मात्र तम हंसकोलीष्टप्री सर ता अनुभव मंटप वर्ष दल नावधली अनुभव मंटप प्रारंभ आगे मत तेन हेल्ता परुष कटे अंतु सुमार नल्वत् मुस्लिम बांधवर मन वल मतलब मन कटिकोडली आस्पद मे को कंप्ली डमोली परुष कटे अभिवृद्धि आगता है सर तेलू इन कनसिटी अदली नंबर नानी के अंदे नं बहुत हमे विषय आगे सर तुम्हें मन मे मोन्े ते पीर पाश बंग्ला बेहतर बहलास्ट कॉम्प्लिकेशन बंदा पत्रा प्रकटण अंद्रे तेरे बहुत क्लारीटी आगे अंत ना अल जन मन वल्ली तम पत्रा प्रकटण बहुत बहुत यशस्वी आई सर नंदे तम हर रिक्वेस्ट अंतर्रे तक्य वो तम अनुभव पुस्तक मादरियल प्रकट मे मुंबरतक नामेलू हेल्प आगे दयमी तुम पुस्तक अंत तम हर केकोतेन रि सर नम के असोसियेशन तिर्लापुर सर एलू कूड़ा इंत अनुभवी आफीसर्स नम मतरी बसवराज नमगू कूड़ा चैतन्य बरत ये वो कष्ट कारपण्य नर तंद्रे अंद्रे नान के समस्या एदर्सू तिष्ट तनक मतड्रे अडमिस्ट्रेशन पार्ट आदि ना मनोर एम एल बसव कल्याण इोद्री पॉलीटीशियन मत पार्ट नानु फेस सर बट ये फेस मनोभवने एंत सुनामी अले बंद ना निबूद्रल अद जीवन दुख पालसक हम तम आशीर्वाद नामेल आफीसर मेल निम्द पुस्तक प्रकटने आगे अंत मत तम कौते सर जल निर्मला योजना आम अर्बन वाटर सप्लाय रूरल वाटर दैट टाइम दबजेक्ट आफ कंसेंशन आफ फ्रेश लोन एंड सबजेक्ट आफ कंटिन्यूंग ओल लोन फॉर आपरेशन प्रोजेक्ट कंटिन्यू वेन ड्यूरींग दिसकशन सो मेनी थिंग डिस्कस एंड देन वेन इट केम देर उलफेनसन वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बैंक Before that, uh, two World Bank vice presidents had visited the project. One was uh, Mio Zawa. She was a vice president of World Bank for Asia. She had visited the project. Another was a gentleman. He also had come. They had asked me whether I would join the World Bank. I said no. If I wanted to join, I was all day abroad. I had appointment to United Nations Social Defence Institute, Rome, as research expert. I didn't join. I come back. I will serve my country. I don't want to join any institution. But anyway, keep it in open. Keep it open and let us know if that's said. Around that time, when these people were discussing, there were rumors that they are going to transfer me. One of them had leaked out that news, and World Bank knew it. Mr. Deshpande, around that time, uh, was industrial minister. Many anyway, they had delegation. The Ulpens and the president told. We have two conditions. We consider your twenty-two thousand crore loan on one condition that you complete that project correctly and completely, as per our conditionalities, and don't transfer that office. And if you are transferring it, we are not going to release the next amount of crore. That's thousand five hundred crores. We are not going to release, and we stay the project. That's stay twice. So that's one condition. Then secondly, we wait and see. After six months, we'll consider your twenty-two thousand crores. 
then uh, government indeed had transferred me for one day okay one day and then immediately i handed over charge and went back and uh, assumed uh, same night i handed over charge came back here and took position as a uh, took charge as a commissioner for uh, civil supplies so very next day they cancelled it and i said you know i handed over charge i'll not go back then jayesh patel was chief minister he called me i am your father you better go there and personally you know so i went and back and do so that was before this happened okay so they put in condition it's a fact it's in writing it is in, in writing the condition came there that is one of the reasons why i continued there from 98 to 2006 okay 2 plus 6 8 years more i continued earlier was only 4 years i spent there so that is a different story you know in this you don't need to worry much about that because what happens you know when you are dealing with asian development bank world bank or any other sida you know you know cada various agencies the sida means the scandinavian canadian is it is different so those agencies there is something a tricky situation i would like to tell of you you see if you are an officer having been uh, educated in their western system and if you speak a good english and if you argue properly they like it even if they don't want to give the loan on the contrary if you are not that highly educated you are not educated in england america etc they think is another gavar like that they don't give much importance by god's grace i had that qualification of having studied in england and america both places with three different degrees and having had worked for a short while as an professor and i had appointment in the united nations as social defense research institute in rome same time as ias and master professor and uh, that three post came i have mentioned this in my nanna kathe anta 2011 dalli on cd the youtube nalli nodi nanna kathe anta i mentioned this fact 2011 i mentioned so they knew this so they had some kind of positive appreciation for me and will pension himself asked me whether i would go to world bank i didn't but i continue to world bank expert even today i go to different countries 17 countries i have gone so far to train uh, the officers of those countries on the invitation of world bank and that pay you very well okay one lecture per hour you know how much they pay you earlier 50000 now 75000 i generally devil four to five lectures you can imagine I got a compensation. My family has got a compensation uh, uh, in a UK piece. In a Bidgi Yadagadi, Bidgi Taluk, Galgali. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಸೋಮನವರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ 
again for a one meter uh, compensation so like this if uh, go in a four or five governments the certainly we may reach 524 sir but adu enaitu only civil work sayadu hortagi raithri compensation hoglilla adrinda tamma ondu nudi namma karnataka ka aitu athwa indian level or in international level it is a highly valuable then you may suggest in such a way anta nandondu submission from my personal side and from our uh, <laughs> land loser side and uh, it in a different way you see uh, that was a unique position and how unique it was you can read in the biography of mr devagoda uh, faroz in the field that now uh, that uh, book is uh, my interview of 11 pages uh, printed as it is kindly read there i uh, given there you see this is a uh, something very unique I returned from uh, Colombo plan of one year in England. As soon I did not want to come back again, I wanted to go back to university. I had applied for three years leave. But then I came here and then after joining, I wanted to go on extraordinary leave. As soon as I came, look at the kind of treatment they gave me. I went to DPR, DPR secretary took, uh, AKM Nike took me to chief secretary. Uh, chief secretary uh, took me to Principal Secretary CM, Munak Shundram, and Parsarthi, Addition Secretary. All the four of them took me to CM's chamber in Vidhan Sauda. I said, what is happening here? Uh, senior Chief Secretary, Addition Chief Secretary, Principal Secretary, all of them taking me as if I am a criminal. So I went there to his chamber in Vidhan Sauda, and he was so nice. When I went there, he ordered a copy of everybody, everybody, then, uh, for everybody. And I said, how was your training, and how was this, and all, he talked, okay, fine. Nimge, they got a Kelly. None is in here in a book of print tag or biography. Okay, it's an just international pelican classic series of print tag. Already they have sold some 30,000 copies all over the world. The classic selling. So, why is he talking like that? I didn't understand. At last, he came to the point. Nano Nimgo the assignment Kortini. New world and Bardo. Nimgain designation Beko, Yen Adikara Beko. In the case of the secretary, the secretary of the secretary of the secretary of the secretary of the secretary. He told it in front of CS. Whatever orders you want, the government will issue and you go and take charge. So, this is what I am saying. Sir, when the chief minister of a state tells these words, who am I to say no? But my only request is, you have to keep your words. I know I am from that area. I know what are the difficulties. So I will go. So then, okay, you issue the order. Then we all went to Chief Secretary's chamber. You know what order of delegation? This I wanted to make. They delegated the power of government by order. Appointments, transfers, disciplinary action, purchases, approval of tenders, uh, approval to the company's order, whether it's 100 crore or 1,000 crores, I had the power. No file came to Secretariat or Revenue Department. I was exceptional Secretary of Revenue there 12 years. After that, I came as Principal Secretary here. Then question arose, what is the meaning of government powers? Government means a cabinet. Government means governor also. Am I governor? <laughs> Am I cabinet? I sought a clarification. Then the finance department issued delegation powers, putting the limits up to uh, uh, unlimited powers in land acquisition up to 150 crores in works. Purchases, appointments, no power. Then we created 1,500 posts, and they were all filled up. And any officer posted to UKP not joining there, deemed to be suspended. That order also we issued. Uh, then uh, some of those who were old timers, you asked them. So anybody posted, if he did not join in three days, he's suspended, deemed to be suspended. So because the stop was, the shortage was there. Then I purchased 120 Jeeps, 120 computers and engaged computer agency to compute us all affairs. So whenever people visited my chamber, meet, met me, I would ask them, what's your name? Which village? Then, okay, wait a minute, sit down. I would go to that village, press his name, and whole biography will come. What is his name, his wife's name, his ch children's name, how old are they, what they have studied, what is their income? Everything will be in the computer. Then I would go and telling as if uh, astrologers are here, Nim Hesarido, Ninantesarido, 
ನಿಮ್ದು ಹೌದು ಅನುಕೂಲ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಶಾಕ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿ ಫಿನಿಷ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮೇ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವೈ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ವೆನ್ ಡೇರ್ ಇನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಬಿಗ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು that order said this code terminates with its tenure in apexha project you get a point mr karsad has come and spoken he is now in charge he has been for so four five years earlier others were there nobody has those powers because those powers were terminated as soon as i handed over and came and joined here as principal secretary revenue those powers delegated to the commissioner except they don't have that power to anybody now you are telling me i was super human i was efficient no is a government under circumstances had given that extraordinary power if i were even the chief secretary i would not have got that powers that is grand gratefulness of the or the greatness of the government not mine i want to tell you that ke kelodakinta tamma maatalli ivattu keli baala inspire aidvi sir idu hige irli sir ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಫ್ಲೋರಿಡಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಕ್ರಿಮಿನಾಲಜಿಲಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅಮೇರಿಕಾದಲ್ಲೇ ಸೆಟ್ಲ್ ಆಗಬಹುದಾಗಿತ್ತು ಸರ್ ಆದರೂ ತಾವು ಕನ್ನಡ ಮಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬಂದು ಕನ್ನಡ ನಾಡಿಗೆ ಈ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತಮವಾದ ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ನೀರಾವರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹರಿಕಾರರಾಗಿ ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಆಡಳಿತಗಾರರಾಗಿ ಪಾರದರ್ಶಕ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಮತ್ತು ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಯಾಗಿ ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಗೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂತ ನನಗಂತೂ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷ ಸರ್ ಇತಿಹಾಸದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಸರ್ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ನಾವು ಇತಿಹಾಸಕಾರರೇ ಅದನ್ನು ಅಷ್ಟು ನೀಟಾಗಿ ಹೇಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಸರ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಮೇಧಾವಿ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಸರ್ ತುಂಬ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಸರ್ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆಡಳಿತ ಸೇವೆಗಳ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳ ಸಂಘದ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ಹೀಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಂಬಂಧಿಸಲಿ ಸರ್ ಮುಂದಿನ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸರ್ಸರ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಸನ್ಮಾನ ಇದೆ ದಯಮಾಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬರಬೇಕು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಫೋಟೋ ಸೆಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಕೆಳಗಡೆ
Okay, sir. 